So I just got done playing through the sacrifice and I have to say that I'm a little underwhelmed with the quest itself with Umbra, but I knew that Umbra was only gonna be a glorified Excalibur, so um, nothing wrong there. I just... why did we get Umbra? I get that, you know, he's cool, alright? I love the way he looks, I love the Nakana, I love that he goes stealth whenever you execute someone. That, that was us just that was pretty good i'm pretty sure that yeah 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 he does that i i was thinking that maybe i had an arcane installed but no no no, no. That, that that's really what he does he goes invisible when you finish someone off with his radial bind and the radial bind takes away all of the sentience resistances and when you use transference that's when you bring out your little potato child and he gets to run around. Umbra has his own... He's, he's sentient, it, to, to lack of a better word. He, uh, he controls himself like a specter, and that, that's really cool. You can actually get Umbra and basically center your entire playstyle around having Potato Kid. And that's great for fighting sentience. Problem with this is, when are we gonna do that? I, I don't think there's really any content where I would find this beneficial. Maybe during the Plains of Eidolon, but I mean, when is he really gonna do anything when you when he shoots the the Eidolon, I guess? But he's just not. I. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, we don't have. A mode where there's a lot of sentience that you need to kill and get a lot of rewards from. The only place I can think of is Lua, but there's not really any... I mean... Again, this is all great, but we have a tool and no, there's no problems, no instances, no node on the star chart where I would think, yes, this is the perfect place where I can bring Umbra and everything he brings to the table. Not to say that I don't appreciate what this update has brought. We got the new HUD, we got some quality of life changes, especially when uh, choosing relics. And it's, it's really cool. I really, I hope that this is like a clutch to a stepping stone, actually, to something greater. And the sacrifice quest itself, I really enjoyed it. But once it was over, I, I was, I felt a little empty, like, oh, I'm, I'm just getting teased a little more, but uh, that's fine. The quest itself was fine, it was, it was worth it. I really enjoyed it. And until the end, but eh, I'll forgive him. Like I said, I hope that this really opens the door to some possibility. At least I hope that the characters, uh, they do something else. And we get a little more lore, a little more backstory, and we can do something, you know, something meaningful. I, I like where where all of this is going. I like. I just like what's going. I like what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I like what's going on. I'm having a lot of fun playing Warframe and all that, grinding for relics from time to time. Finding, uh, chasing uh, myths and legends, also known as hero systems. I've ran the place like 30 times. I really don't think that's an 11%. I, I don't believe it. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say hi. I'm alive. I, I can't find any time to record. I'm kind of doing this at night. If it sounds like I'm whispering, it's because I am. And my microphone's been acting weird for the longest, and I don't know if it's me or or my the, the rumbling in my house, the microphone itself. I I don't know what it is. There's like this constant feedback that I see here in my recordings, and and just me in general being an awkward social mess. And I don't really wanna record myself anymore and you know 
But hey, I made it. This this is here, and I hope that I can find these little windows of time at the uh, middle of the night when everybody's dead, and I can actually whisper some content out because I really, I really want to do this. It just everything is always pointing it against me. Yeah, whatever. Who cares, right? I'm just a just a speck. Just a grain of sand, and let's end on a happy note. I like this update, I really do. I hope that the Venus map is, is good. I hope it's good. I enjoy the planes from time to time, and I hope that we get a little more, uh, not incentive, but uh, purpose. There's so many things in Warframe. There's all these all these maps and game modes and warframes and abilities and all these tools and i just i don't see any reason to use anything or do anything other than i want to and that's a good thing that good it, it's good there's a lot of variety and you can do whatever you want that's good i just want there to be a purpose a reason to do things you know like spy missions, after a while they, they get a little stale, but there's a reason to do spy missions. There's unique drops in there. Arquing isn't really seeing a lot of play, not a lot of people care about it, but I love Arquin missions. They're fun, they're different, it's high speed, it's it's what the community wants, right? You wanna you guys wanna go fast and kill everything? That's not what was advertised to me in Warframe. I to me Warframe was advertised as space ninjas and we're not really when I when I imagine ninja I I think of stealth I think of approaching enemies through unconventional angles or, or ways I guess like instead of being a, a samurai and going face to face and all this honor a ninja comes up behind you and stabs you in the back or uses smoke grenades you know Warframe it's not really space ninjas it's just, it's like space Power Ranger Warriors. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of people that are stealthy, but it's not really ninjas, guys. Cat Lady? I don't think Cat Lady's a ninja. But, eh. It's alright. Warframe's fun. Have a good day. Thank you for listening.